started rising so fast that it, it really became uh, a get out now type situation. It was catastrophic for Texas. The name Harvey was retired because of what it did after landfall as a slow moving tropical storm resulting in the worst tropical cyclone rainfall induced flooding disaster in United States history. More than 60 inches of rain fell near Nederland, Texas, 50 plus inches around Houston. It was the first major hurricane, category three or higher, to hit the United States since Wilma back in 2005, and the second costliest behind Katrina. Irma, gone. They use the term overwhelming, but uh, it, it really is. The Florida Keys were hardest hit in the U.S. by this category four hurricane, but it was a five when it damaged or destroyed 95% of all structures on Barbuda. It also spawned 25 tornadoes, 21 of them in Florida. Then Maria, gone. Maria retired because it was the worst hurricane disaster in modern times for Puerto Rico and because it was the strongest hurricane to ever hit the island of Dominica. All of Puerto Rico left in the dark with about a million people without water. It's the third costliest tropical cyclone in U.S. history. And finally, Nate, gone. Nate barreled along at record-breaking speed, 28 miles per hour, leaving widespread damage and destruction in Central America before becoming the fourth hurricane to make U.S. landfall in the 2017 season. Four newly retired names. After a notorious or very impactful hurricane occurs, we don't want to use that name again because it would be insensitive to those who were impacted and confusing to hear that name again. In all, since 1954, 86 Atlantic Basin names are history. The 2005 season holds the record with five retired names. So now what? Well, in case you were wondering, names cycle every six years. So starting in 2023, Harvey becomes Harold, Irma becomes Idalia, Maria becomes Margot, and Nate becomes Nigel.